Hey everyone and welcome to my channel. My name is Kristen and today we are in Willow Creek and I am making a American suburban home or it's, you know, it's at least what I think of when I think of a typical American home. Um, it's very much like a colonial style and it has a lot of red, white, and blue in this house. When I first started building this house over the weekend, I wasn't going for an American style house, <laughs> but once I put the flowers and the windows on the house, I thought it just reminded me of home, you know? It reminded me of the red, white, and blue and everything that America stands for. And so I just took it and I went with it and I um, brought the American style inside as well as the outside. It's very much for a large family. So um, in whole, the house has five bedrooms and four bathrooms. Um, one of the bedrooms and one of the bathrooms is actually in a mother-in-law suite or mother suite. Um, have you guys heard of those? Uh, if you're from America, most likely you have. Um, I'm not sure if you guys are from another country. Do you guys typically find mother-in-law suites in a... Uh, some houses over where you guys are from. Not all American houses have mother-in-law suites, of course. This is just typically found in wealthier houses. Um, I do not have a mother-in-law suite and I don't know anyone really that does. Um, but you do find them in some houses and of course, you know, some people have them added on as well. But it pretty much is just like a little separate house in the back of the main house and it has everything that someone might need to stay in that little house <laughs> and so in this particular one um, I was able to fit a bed and a TV and a little kitchenette and well not really a kitchenette it's more of like a full-on kitchen because they have like an oven and a stove a refrigerator all of that <laughs> and then there's a bathroom in there as well so um, I had in mind when I was building this house that the mother-in-law suite wasn't for a live-in mother-in-law or mother it would just be for like anyone that came to visit and so um, I do believe I furnished this house to include eight Sims already um, but that's including a couple of pets as well so there are four bedrooms and three bathrooms in the main house right here that I am working on. And so you can fit one or two parents, a teenager, two children, and a infant, I believe. And then you can also have a dog and a cat in this house as well. So very much, uh, very versatile for the Sims you can have in this house. You don't have to have any pets and just have more family members if you if you want to. Um, I do have a garage in this build as well. And when I make garages in my Sims builds, I don't typically make it a garage on the inside, just like kind of a fake garage on the outer. And so this time is different. I did put an actual garage on the inside as well. And I put a car in there and I put some items that you might find in a garage in there and I kind of I really wanted to make this look realistic and um, very much just what you would find in a you might find in an American style home I mean not all American homes look like this whatsoever <laughs> this is definitely more of a pricey home in real life I would say this would probably be if not a million dollars close to it, at least in the market that we live in today, this is a huge house in The Sims, but luckily in The Sims, the market is a little bit better, <laughs> and so I think the total amount came to probably like 150000 if I'm not mistaken, either that, between 150000 to 200000 so if only... You could buy a house like this for that price in real life. That would be amazing, wouldn't it? <laughs> but um, anyways, like I was saying, we do have a garage on the interior as well. And here I am pulling out the car. I am going around and placing different items throughout the house just so I can physically see what that room is. You know, um, if 
I have a bunch of blank rooms everywhere. I forget what I wanted that particular room to be. Um, like a kitchen, you know, I have to put the counters down for me to remember it's a kitchen. Okay, and typically the same for a bathroom. If I don't place like the toilet and the shower and stuff in a bathroom, then I will at least make the flooring in that room different so that I remember it's a bathroom. So I'll put like tile or linoleum or something like that. And the rest of the house, I'll put like a wood flooring. And, um, and in the garage, I actually put a concrete flooring. I thought that was very realistic. I don't know any garage that doesn't have concrete <laughs> or at least painted concrete um, and I also pulled out a couple bikes I end up moving them to the other side though later in the build once I come back to actually furnish it for real um, and not just placing temporary furniture there and I realized as I was building this that I did not have a bathroom downstairs and so your sims have to walk through a little part of the garage to get to the bathroom but I don't know I kind of feel like that's not totally unrealistic I feel like I've seen a bathroom in a garage before um, but it's not too big of a deal it's like just right there off of the living room and stuff so and here I am I am building the mother-in-law suite or what will be the mother-in-law suite I played around with different ideas for a while I almost wanted to make it into like a little like band room but it just didn't look like a typical band room like we don't have drums in The Sims and I wish we did I really wish now that I'm thinking of it and as I was building this actually I was thinking how I would love for The Sims team to make like a bands pack I know that was like a rumor for a little while that they might be making like a, a musician pack or a pack for like different bands and stuff. And I honestly would love that. Um, it reminds me of The Sims 2 and your Sims could play drums in The Sims 2 and you could actually have them, you know, play together like a band would. And I would make band rooms all the time in The Sims 2 when I would play it back when I was a kid. And, um... It really makes me want a set of drums in The Sims. I feel like that's like the last instrument we're missing. Um, we have a piano, we have a keyboard, we have a guitar, we have a violin. Um, we don't really have like a bass, not a bass guitar, but like a, a orchestra bass. Um, <laughs> forgive me, I am not very good at different instruments, but I do know that there's a difference between like a bass you find in an orchestra and a bass guitar so um, we don't have like the orchestra bass either and I hate the fact that you can't have your sims sing with the microphone so they really need to update that as well um, like how can they not do that because we have a karaoke machine and so you can kind of just copy that animation over to the actual like microphone stand at least how I view it I'm not a game creator so it might be harder you know it might be easier said than done you know it might be harder to actually achieve that but um, yeah anyways enough about the uh, band pack that is in my dreams I am finishing up the landscaping pretty much we have quite a bit of trees I have found myself overloading my builds with trees lately and I don't know what has gotten into me there's something about adding trees that just makes it feel more lively and realistic I, I don't know I can't really put my finger on it too much and it just fills up the lot also and I think it looks better when the lot is filled up I can't stand a super empty lot <laughs> um, and then I'm just placing like some flowers and stuff everywhere I did a little bit different I mean my landscaping is very similar to all of the other builds but it's a little bit different um, I didn't place like those circular flower bushes those I usually place those all over my builds but I didn't do that this time I only placed it in the corner right there I didn't know what else to put there and it really needed something 
um, around the base of the tree, like the tree trunk, and it just looked empty, so it needed something. And I placed some like little hopscotch places on the sidewalk on the side of the house. I probably overused the hopscotch now ever since the Growing Together pack came out. I I just love the hopscotch. <laughs> it's, it's just so cute, and I don't think I've actually had a child do it yet. I haven't seen any Sam actually do it yet. And so I really need to get in the game and test it out and see what it looks like. And I also pulled out some of these little floaties to put around the pool and later in the build, um, here in just a little bit probably, you guys will see me actually add like a horse ball, like one of those horse balls from Horse Ranch. It looks like a beach ball. And so I just place it on top of the water. Um, I obviously your Sims can't actually use it. <laughs> it's it's for a horse, but it it gives it a really cute look on the outside. It definitely looks like the pool is actually being used by a family, and um, and it was just a cute little touch. And so I I added it and I left it. And this little grassy part right there, I really wanted to add something for like your sims kids to do um i almost left that like slide and that like dollhouse that looks like a tree like the tree dollhouse um i almost left those two things but it just wasn't looking very good to me <laughs> and so i deleted those and i put a toddler pool outside instead for like the little infant that lives here that will eventually be a toddler and the kids can use it your adult sims can use it actually they can like just lay in it and I think that's a really cute touch to be honest that the Sims team actually had it to where the adult Sims can sit in there as well and then I also added the swing there uh, for like the kids and stuff and I think yeah I mean anybody can swing on it but my intention was for the kids and I'm also placing these like uh, I don't know what you call these um, the things that people climb down in movies. <laughs> Tre not Travis. Is it a Travis? Terrace? Not a Terrace. But those like um, the white things with the vines growing through it. I placed those all throughout like the build on the exterior of the house because I wanted it to blend in. I added the ladder there so it looks like um, your, your teen Sam can sneak out going down that little like uh, the white thing. I really need to like research what those those things are called. If you guys know what those are called then definitely tell me. It'll help me out a lot and I don't have to call it the white things anymore. <laughs> like the Travis, the Terrace, the the things that I'm working on. Um, I really wanted it to blend in. It wasn't just obvious that that was a ladder and so um, I, I placed like the the trevises all around the house <laughs> and then I'm also placing like these vines in between like the white the actual ladder part and your Sam can use that still by the way I've tested it and um, it just looks like it's blended in better and so I was really happy with the way that it turned out this whole house honestly turned out super cute I love this house like if I was to play an actual like family I would probably download this house off of my own gallery to play it uh, because it's super cute and I try to make it as realistic as possible and like here I am placing some terrain paint and tried to make it look like the swing set is actually being used and also I try to make it look like that uh, someone climbs down that side of the house quite often and so there is some dirt there and um, I'm also placing a bunch of like just terrain paint around the whole lot and around like the sidewalks and stuff like that to make it look nice and lived in. That was really the goal I had for this house. And that stinking toy box for the dog, I had no idea where to place that thing. Um, you're going to see me placing around the lot several times until I finally find a decent enough spot for it. And, um, and I still wasn't completely happy with the way that I left it, <laughs> but I didn't know where else to put it. And I really wanted to make sure we had that little toy box, um, for the dog that lives in the house. It just, they need toys too, you know? 
and um, I'm really not too thrilled with the way that this back patio turned out. Um, I It's true to the red, white, and blue nature of the house, but I don't love those couches that came in the perfect patio stuff. I don't know, there's just something about it. Maybe I've used it way too much, and that's why I don't like them too much anymore. And uh, here I am pulling out that horse ball that looks like a beach ball. Um, and I just placed it on top of the water. I had to use the nine key to make it go up, to transfer it upwards. And it went on the surface of the water perfectly, to be honest. And I was really happy with the way that turned out. And it matches the floaties too. Um, I think I love the floaties. I loved the fact that they added them in Island Living and then they added another pool floaty finally in the four rent expansion pack. And so um, I just, I they're really cute and the Sims actually can use them and I think that they can fall off of them too, right? If I'm not mistaken, um, they can fall off either while they're on it or while they're trying to get on it. I can't remember, maybe not. I might be making that up, but. Um, I am also placing like the lounge chairs and I thought it needed something else and so I placed some like rugs underneath the lawn chairs and it might be a little bit too much but I was happy with the way that it looked so I left it and so we are finally inside now. I do believe we are all done with the exterior and um, oh by the way I also put a basketball hoop above the garage and that is very much an American thing is that a lot of houses have basketball hoops and I've seen a lot of houses actually have the basketball hoops on top of like above the garage and that was part of the reason why I actually placed the car inside the garage because I want your sim to actually be able to use the basketball hoop that's there and um yeah, uh, I have not tested out the basketball hoop, but I know for a fact it works. If it doesn't work, then I, that is just ridiculous to be honest. I didn't have to like place it up or anything like that or size it down or anything like that. And I've placed them above the garages so much before, even when um, the house is on an actual foundation. Well, this is on a foundation, but... Even I placed the garage in a way where um, it's kind of like hidden in the foundation. Um, I probably should have explained it while you guys were actually looking at it, but I cheat kind of, I, not really cheat, I just know a workaround. Um, with the foundation you can create like a little room where you want the garage to go and then you can place the flat foundation on that room and all of the rest of the foundation on the exterior of the house you can place like the actual brick foundation that has like a little ledge on it um that's just a little fun fact that i have found myself actually and um i do it all the time you've probably seen me do it on a build before and uh yeah so that living room went by really, really fast. It, it's just really just a living room. Nothing really special about it. Um, very red, white, and blue, just like the rest of the house is. This whole house has a red, white, and blue theme. And um, I love those colors together. It, I mean, it could just be because I'm American, but I don't think so. I think they look really good together. Like the red and the blue, like against each other just the red really pops with the blue I feel like and so um, there's a specific rug and I think it's in the backyard stuff and I absolutely love that rug it's that one in the backyard that I'm using under the table and it has it's like blue with dark blue and red flowers on it if I'm not mistaken and that rug is so pretty I love that rug and um, I also painted the kitchen red. <laughs> the tile on the walls is red and that's not a color I typically use in the kitchen. Um, so it was really fun to switch it up from the normal blue that I use to red. And of course there's blue accents, but 
the majority of it is red. It looks really pretty. And that bar, um, I almost put counters there instead, but I decided to put a bar there. And that is actually from the new kit that came out. And it's it's the birthday celebration or the celebration kit that just came out. And I know that there's a lot of mixed feelings on that kit, but honestly, I, I've been waiting for a pack that consisted of just party supplies for such a long time. And so honestly, I love the pack. And the disco ball actually works, believe it or not. I tested it out while I was building that living room, actually. Um, I tested it out and it actually works. It actually moves and it actually like places like light on the ground. And I can't wait to be able to build like a club or something like that and place the disco ball over the dance floor. Um, that is definitely going to be on my list of stuff to do. And I also pulled out something else. I used a few things from that kit to be totally honest. This pack, or this build I mean, is very pack heavy. I went crazy with the packs. I didn't want to limit it because I just wanted it to... I just wanted to use all the packs to be honest. <laughs> this was the first house that I built after I got my laptop back from the repair shop and... I just went crazy with the packs, but it was really, really fun. I think it turned out really cute, but that juice, like little pitcher there <laughs> with the snacks and the party supplies around it, I think is so cute. Um, I love it. A lot of stuff out of that little kit is cute. I'm not going to lie. And then the other kit that came out was like a cast kit and I picked that one up as well. Um, I'm bad. I'm supporting the kids, I know, but I just... I love The Sims, I've always loved The Sims, and I love new content for The Sims, and so uh, the kits are like $5, and it's not something that is killing me. Like, if I didn't have the money, of course I wouldn't buy it, I'm not that bad, but um, I just love having new additions to like build with, and make Sims with, and stuff, and I wish they continued with the gameplay kits, even though the Dust the Buzz kit was horrendous. Um, that's probably why they decided to go away with the gameplay kits, but, um, yeah, so, anyways, we are pretty much finishing up the kitchen. I don't think I do much else in the kitchen. I did make sure, uh, your Sam could actually cook in the kitchen because I do place so much on the counters and stuff. I just wanted to make sure that they could actually use the counters, and, uh, they are, so that's, that's really good. I was happy that I didn't have to delete anything off the counters. And also behind the bar in the kitchen, I forgot to mention that I did put like a little bar back with like countertops and cabinets and stuff. And that is something that I first did in one of the base game builds that I did. And I thought it turned out really cute. And so I'm probably going to do that more often. It's like if there isn't a bar back that matches like not all of the bars have bar backs to them you know and so being able to make your own definitely helps a lot and so we are over into the dining room now and that rug is a different swatch of the backyard stuff and that's a pretty swatch too but there's something about the red and blue one that's just really really pretty but I didn't want to use it outside and inside, even though I think I used it in the parents' bedroom. I'm not going to lie. But I didn't want to use it, like, all throughout the build. Uh, two times is more than enough, really. And I also, like, was having a hard time with what to place on the walls in this dining room for some reason. But I just decided to pull out, like, the butterfly pictures and put it on that far wall over there and call it a day. <laughs> and then these, like, the green, flowery, leafy pictures right there that I place in all of my builds. The, that's probably, like, the best picture in the whole game. Um, I'll go as far to say that because they're very versatile. You can place, like, three right on next to each other and it just looks like it's meant to be that way and here I am placing them again um, right in the next room over and I remember thinking about that when I was building and I said you know what it'll be fine <laughs> it'll be fine and I also wanted to place like some shoes by the front door that is a realistic touch in my opinion um, it looks like your sims have to take their shoes off before they walk into the house 
and I also just I'm placing some little like knickknacks and picture frames and dog treats right here on that table nothing really too special and I also pulled out that shelf that has the dog leash on there I love putting that in my suburban homes and like my family homes and stuff that has a dog in the house I love putting that there because it's just you know I don't want to keep saying realistic but it is it is realistic and cute at the same time and I also decided to use those lights from Tiny Living. I haven't used those in forever. When they first came out, I literally used them all the time in like all of the builds that I did. And I think I overused them to the point where I just don't use them much anymore. But I did pull them out for this build and it matched really good and so I wanted to keep it. And I also love pulling out these little cork boards and putting like a calendar on there and I pulled out that cop calendar. I think that's hilarious. And so I pulled that out and I pull, put like the calendar on the cork board. That's something that's very realistic. I do that all the time and I've seen other people do it all the time. And then next to the calendar, I put some of the postcards and stuff. And I thought it was a really fun idea. And actually there is a computer in that hallway that you seen me just do. And I also put another computer in the other room over. Um, towards the end of this build, I realized that I had a whole room that was empty and I did not know what to put there. And so I just made it another room with another computer because you can't really have too many computers, especially in a house that has a bunch of Sims. And I think that there is a computer in the teens room but I don't think any of the other rooms have a computer. Maybe the parents' room. And now we are over into the laundry room and I uh, took advantage of being able to use those bright red washer and dryers. I think they are absolutely stunning. <laughs> um, I love those red washer and dryers. Like, I want some red ones in real life. I've wanted that since I was a kid, since I seen like some fancy red washer and dryers in Lowe's one time as a kid. Ever since then, I've wanted the fancy red ones. But now as an adult, I don't want to pay for the fancy red ones. <laughs> and so that's why I don't have them. I just have a basic white, you know? It does the job and that's all that you really need, you know? And um, I am also just placing some other stuff around the garage. I place some of those dog and cat food bags and I thought that was a cute touch I've done that before and I also pulled out these boxes those are real storage boxes your sims can actually put stuff in and I don't think about them often um, I think they came from Eco Lifestyle if I'm not mistaken but I think they're super super cute and definitely something you'll find in a garage and I also pulled out the attic static box and I wanted to make sure there was not too much stuff in front of that attic box. Did I, I don't know, attic static. I think that's what it's called. If I, I think that's what it's called in the description. I'm not 100% sure, but the attic decoration box, it's attic something. But those like the decoration box that came with seasons and your Sims can actually like decorate the outside of the house with it. Um, I wanted to make sure that there was nothing in front of that so your Sim can actually go and use it correctly and I also place like um, next to the boxes I place like this eco lifestyle laundry shelf thing um, it has like laundry stuff on it and um, it just you know the laundry rooms in the garage it kind of just made sense and I need something else to put there to be totally honest and now we are over into the children's room and they share a room I figured this could be for two twins and I kind of was aiming for a boy and a girl both in this room so uh, very much very blue very purple I almost did pink but I do pink so much and I do blue a lot too but blue is pretty so is pink I don't know but I want to do something different and so um, I seen that they had a purple swatch with the clouds on it as well as the blue one and it just looked better than the pink and blue. The blue and purple looks so pretty together. I love those colors together. And so um, I also ended up just decorating the whole room for just kids. There's nothing really too 
there's not a particular theme about this. It's just a kid's room. <laughs> it's whatever they want, you know? And I also placed a hamster cage as well as I put a penguin TV and a little radio on top of the dresser and those skateboards just matched really well and I love those skateboards um, on the walls like that. I think they're really pretty. I think it's skateboards, right? I don't think it's supposed to be like little snowboards. I don't think so. I think it's supposed to be skateboards. And also like, I think I delete those hamps hampers and like the laundry hampers I delete those and I just place like a little decoration there that's from I think it was from the growing together pack and it was just something that looks like your kids probably put it together that little thing right there and I do have a child Sam that is going to be coming up and play testing this here in a little bit and I have to move it but it stays there I just have to kind of not slant it like that and I also pulled out some like posters that like some of it's for the boy some of it's for the girl like obviously those posters right by that purple bed is for the little girl and I thought that that was like her little celebrity like crush on those posters that's there I thought that was really cute and then I also put some like that shelf with the trophies and stuff I figured that could be both of their trophies for whatever they do like whatever activities they do and I almost put a scouts board in here. Um, I just never know how to make a scout board look good in a room. So I never end up leaving it. But I almost did. And that's definitely um, something that I like to do when I do play The Sims. I like, I like to have my children actually go to like scouts and stuff. And they can like, if you have them earn all of the scouts badges and stuff. I think it makes them like go a couple careers ahead or a couple levels ahead in the career once they're an adult if I'm not mistaken. Either that or it just advances like their skill building. I can't remember but there's definitely a perk about it that is very very useful and I used to love having them go to scouts and get all of the badges when I used to play all the time. And um... Yeah, that was pretty much it. I did have to move the bunk bed for some reason. The kid couldn't actually use it while it was like um, L-shaped the way that it was. So I actually had to transfer it to where it's the bunk bed directly on top of the other. But it looked good that way too. And I was able to add like an actual side table next to the bed and put like a lamp on there. And I also put... Um, I think I put like one of those diaries on there as well and I thought that was for the little girl. And we are now over into the teens room and it's very very um, pink, blue, and purple those colors together and it turned out really really cute. Um, I love this room and I was able to put the bed and then that TV is also from that party kit that I was talking about. and. I love this TV too. I love like the backdrop behind the TV and when I pulled that TV out and I placed it there I was like oh my gosh that's literally perfect for this room that I'm working on and so I had to keep it <laughs> and I've already used a couple of the other things from the actual like party kit anyways and so if you decide you love this house and you want to download it you totally can when you don't have all of the packs you just are going to be missing the certain objects that you don't have. Um, which I know is not ideal, but it's better than not being able to download the house at all, right? <laughs> and so I also pulled out like that little like cat light I thought is really cute. And I also pulled out that mirror from high school years and I placed it there. I needed just something in that corner to be honest. And when I pulled it out, I, it just looked really good. And I also pulled out this keyboard right here. I figured the teen that lives in this room is really into music and really into video gaming and also likes to stream and stream the video games that they play. And so very, very creative teen that lives in this room. And I also pulled out one of those tapestries. And those curtains, by the way, I love those curtains. And that's my favorite swatch of the curtain. Those curtains are from Paranormal Stuff, and I love the beads that are on them. It definitely looks very much like a teen would have that in their room. 
and it turned out really cute. And I also pulled out like the little doors that you could place um, the different stickers or like they have different posters like the swatches with the stickers and the posters and the lights and all that. And I, so I placed that on the teen's room as well as the children's room. And as you can see, I had to, um, I, I, okay, I find out that I love to play test as I'm building. That is so much easier than to like build the whole thing and then play test after. And then you have to move a bunch of stuff around. And if, you know, you're posting a speed build on YouTube, I hate moving stuff around act after I've actually built it and showed you guys what I've built because it just, um, I want you guys to know what to expect when you download it, you know? And so definitely playtesting as you're building is so much easier. And so I had to like kind of place the bed a little bit more into the wall and the dresser a little bit more into the wall and now your sim can actually use everything in that room. And so yeah, we are over into the parents' bedroom now. As you guys can see, I used that red, white, and blue rug that I was talking about outside that I used. I also used it inside, but isn't it just so pretty? I love those colors together. And then that bed, I think it's from the four rent pack. And honestly, this room all together, as I was building it, I did not love it. But looking back at it now, I think it turned out really pretty. And that bright red chair and stuff. And... I placed a stereo and those red lamps and it just it looks really good together and I also placed a fire place in there as well and that's not something that I do very often uh, is to place fireplaces actually in the bedrooms I usually just do in the living room and call it a day but something just screamed fireplace in that room to me probably just needed something to fill up space to be honest but um, I placed it and looked really good and so I kept it there and we are over into the parents' master bathroom now. Very, very blue. I think that flooring right there that came from the four rent pack is my absolute favorite flooring in the game now. At least tile for like kitchens and bathrooms and stuff. I love it. And there's different swatches and stuff. And there was actually a couple different um tiles that came in that pack that i love and i'm so happy that we have different style of tiles now and so i don't have to do just a blank white or a blank color in there you know so i finished up the master bedroom or well the bedroom and the bathroom pretty quickly honestly the bathroom took like a whole two seconds for me to do <laughs> um it's very much the same as the other bathrooms in this house and this is the main bathroom and I wanted it to look like, you know, children and the teens. This is all, like all of the kids of the house, this is their main bathroom. And so I wanted to look very lived in and I placed that rug that has like the little candies on there. I thought that was super cute. Definitely something that kids and teens would like in their bathroom. And that bathroom's pretty much done. I think that's all that I put in there. It's very, very big bathroom. I don't normally do a bathroom that big. I had to put, two hutches in there to fill up the space that was how big it was and um it it turned out really cute though very pretty i love those colors and now we are over into this like hallway i didn't really know what to put here so i decided just to make it another like living area like couches and definitely a hangout area um it was way too big to just leave blank and not put anything there I guess thinking back, I could have put a ping pong table on there. Like, when in doubt, if there's a huge space, put a ping pong table. It'll fill it up quick. And also a piano. That'll fill it up quick too. But it just, this house wasn't screaming ping pong table or piano to me. And so I just put out some more of these couches. And those couches are from Eco Lifestyle, if I'm not mistaken. I think those are the couches that your Sims can actually craft when you have like the crafting uh, table and stuff like that. Um, your Sims can actually craft it if I'm not mistaken. I used to play Eco Lifestyle all the time when it first came out, but I, I don't play with the Eco Lifestyle stuff much anymore. And also thinking back about Eco Lifestyle now, I really wanted to put some solar panels on this house and I forgot to do that. That would have been a really good American thing to do, but I forgot to do that. So if you guys do download this house, you can totally put the 
solar panels on the roof um, in the back probably that's where I was gonna put it anyways and here we are over into the infants room now there's very much nothing special about this room <laughs> at all um, and I pulled out that cat calendar and it automatically made me think of a litter box I was like oh crap I forgot to put a litter box in this build and I meant to have a cat in this build so um, I had to add that and I also should have added a cat tree. Now looking back, I didn't know what to place up here in the top balcony, but I should have added the cat tree. But uh, oh well, if you guys want a cat tree, you could totally add that yourself. And that blank wall right there was so blank. I had no idea what to put there and I ended up just pulling out those heart shaped signs that looks like, um, I think your Sims can actually craft that. If not, no, I don't think so don't listen to me I don't think they can craft that but I always have in mind as I'm placing that 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 looks like something your sims could craft you know and so yeah that's pretty much it on the main house we are over into the mother-in-law suite now that I was talking about this room was the room that I almost put a band room in like I was talking about in the beginning of the build but we don't have drums or any of that, so it just didn't look good. It wasn't filled enough. I didn't really, I spent a lot of time trying to figure it out, but I could not figure it out. We really need to have a pack that's specific for like bands and stuff. And um, so instead I just decided to put it as a mother-in-law suite. And the mother-in-law suite I think turned out really, really cute. I put her this one little lonesome robe into the bathroom and then a bed and a little kitchen. And that kitchen, your Sims can actually like cook. Like there's a mini fridge with like that little conventional oven on top and then a stove that's placed right on the cabinet and stuff. So that is every, your Sim can totally use everything in that little mother-in-law suite oh and i thought we were all the way done in the main part of the house but then no we're not um i forgot a room and i decided just to put a computer in this room as well as a like the gaming table that your sims can play like symbols on and different like card games and stuff like that on that note guys we are very quickly nearing the screenshots and so i really hope you enjoyed this build if you did then definitely leave a like and subscribe to my channel as well and comment down below uh what your favorite part of the build is i love hearing from you guys it absolutely makes my day so I hope you all have a wonderful day or night wherever you are in the world and I'll see you in the next one. Bye guys. A heart speed to the city streets. We begin to feel the fire. We rise like tall buildings as the chemicals they take us higher. Night's young and it's just begun as she puts her hand in mine. We wanna chase the night, wanna dance to the light. Pulls us from the sky, just two hearts running wild. Never sleep, never stop. Every shot from the top. running wild Now the morning is the afternoon We lay awake in bed The glass so loud as the hours pass We're gonna do